I could not resist to take advantage of this because it's normally not like this until early September, late August. It's gonna rain tonight. As you can see above me, it's already moving in, but it ain't gonna hit till after dark. So this will not stay like this, most likely. So I'm gonna try to get on some white bass and buffalo today. And whatever else bites and just see what happens. I'm going back to work next week, so I wanted to come one more time during the weekday and have a chance at some big buffalo and white bass. I'm gonna start off with a square bill crankbait that is silver and red. I think it's Strike King. Even though the water is low, it is very dingy. So I'm hoping they'll at least see that red color, if nothing else. I can see it, so I'm sure they can. Already got a fish on, guys. Second cast. All right, it's a good sign. And we have a spotted bass. All right. This lure is working, obviously. It's a little less chance of me getting hung up because it only goes about three to four foot down. This water is not deep, although it looks like it. It's not until it gets about 30 feet behind the actual rapid. There's a little scour hole. <sighs> and then it actually gets even deeper down there. The next hole down is where it's real deep. But so far, so good, huh? All right. Strike King is working. A little spotted bass. Not big, but not horrible. To start, hey, I got one on the second cast. That's a good sign. Hopefully I can get some of that big three pound white bass. All right. him back in not quite a pound about a half pound Channel cat, yep. Not bad. Not a bad one. Alright. Hey, I'll take him. I'm gonna keep him for her, I guess. Yeah. It's set there for 45 minutes. He's a decent healthy one there. Real healthy. Got it. Uh, 
ain't gonna complain about him, guys. Not too bad of a channel here. best drum this week I really don't want no more drum oh my lights on both of them at the same time guys oh man this one's coming towards me big time Oh, I got him. I got it. It's pretty decent. What do I got? I think it's a buffalo. Maybe, just maybe. Channel cat. Hey, that's two channels. Both decent. All right. Hey. Ain't gonna complain. It's better than a drum. All right. Boy, my line just started coming towards me big time. And I knew just to start reeling it in and set the hook. I mean, it, it just swam right toward the bank out of nowhere. So, knew something was wrong there. Gosh darn it. Stay. him off. Now let's wash him off and get a good picture of him. He's about exactly the same as the last one. About a pound and a half. Exactly the same. Pound and a half channel cat there. Exactly the same. All right, I'm gonna get him in the cooler, I guess. straight out in front of me. There's something running with it. Gotta be. I mean, that thing is out way far from where it was. It don't even make sense. Yep. Something on there.
Oh yeah. I got something nice here, guys. This is a big cat, I think. I went ahead and just set the hook. Didn't know if he was even on there or not. I could just tell my line was way out of place. Oh, I got a big one. Oh yeah. It's something big. Oh, it's a buffalo. Exactly what I was after. Oh, I think it's a blue sucker, maybe. Maybe. Nope, buffalo. Blue sucker. Yes. Yes, my second one ever, guys. Oh my God, it's a bit way bigger than last year's. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh. Oh, it broke my line. That is a blue sucker though, guys. Wow. He's a big one too. He's like five or six pounds. This time I got him fair hook, guys, with a worm. Look at that mouth. Got little bumps all over it. Caught him on a red wiggler. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Oh, now this one I cannot wash off because if I do that, he's risking getting away. I'm not gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do is sit him right there. I'm gonna wash my hands, get the camera on the tub and film myself. Wow, I officially had a good day now, guys. It made it worth coming. I was starting to doubt my day. That really made it worth it. That is so cool. This is only my second blue sucker ever, guys. Second one. That is a nice blue sucker. Definitely better than the one I got last year. He's pretty big. That is a decent blue sucker for sure. I ain't gonna weigh it, but he's, he's a good four pounds anyway. He might even go five, but it, I guarantee he's at least four. I am gonna measure him real quick, guys. I'm gonna say he's about mid-20s. About mid-20s there. Let's get my tape measure out. I'm laying him on the towel for now to keep him safe. Twenty-eight inches. Twenty-eight. I'm glad I decided to to go ahead and set my hook, not knowing for sure if I was gonna set the hook or not. I just knew that my line went way downstream and then it stopped, and I just had this feeling I need to go ahead and set the hook because I'm gonna lose my chance if I don't. And as you can see, guys, he had that thing swallowed pretty good. This is the first blue sucker I've ever caught that's been fair hooked. I caught the one last year with a crankbait on accident in the face. And, uh, or it may have been in the, no, it was in the dorsal fin. Yeah, in the dorsal fin. And so this is the first one I've ever gotten fair hooked like this. What a catch. That is so cool, guys. Made my day for sure. All right, I'm gonna go get her back in. Made my day. First fair hook blue sucker ever. Wow. Yeah, there's definitely something playing with it. It's a little bitty thing though. Tell it's a little drum. Oh, you never know. Well. Oh yeah, I got it. Yes. There we go. What do I have here, guys? Oh, big old drum. Big old drum. Yep. Uh, about a 
three pound drum here. And my weight fell off. Are you freaking kidding me? My God. How the hell did my weight come off on the way in here? slow hour and a half there so I'm happy to get anything a little three pound drum alright get him back in got a good variety today spotted bass channel cat blue sucker and drum <laughs> 